Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we have another last minute tips video for chemistry. So let's get right into the video. My first tip is that whenever burning is involved, like there's a bunch of burn of flame or there's some kind of flame, oxygen is always involved in that reaction. Secondly, and this applies to paper one, I think, there are a surprising amount of questions on copper and any reaction to do with copper. So make sure you memorize all of those and try to keep that in mind during the exam. Thirdly, when you're using an equation in the chemistry exam, make sure you write down the equation triangle on the side of the paper so that you don't accidentally make a mistake and do the wrong calculation and always use the right calculation for that question. Another tip is to always remember to convert units to the proper ones required for that question. The marks you may lose for not converting may be small, but it can be the difference between the grade you want and the grade you don't want. Furthermore, when you're doing a practical question, always remember to include control variables because there's always a control variable no matter the experiment that's going on. If in doubt, use temperature because a lot of the times temperature is the control variable. If you have no idea what the variables actually are, let me just tell you now. The independent variable is what you change, the dependent variable is what you measure, and the control variable is what you keep the same. Please try to remember this for the exam because it's really important. Also, when you're writing your six markers, you do not have to write like in an essay-like structure. All you need to do is bullet point your points and it will be way easier for the examiner to mark and you'll be more likely to get the marks you need. This mostly applies to the electricity topic, but make sure you know what each component looks like and how to draw them because they can ask you to draw them. Now, that's really all I had to say before this exam. So just do your best. You'll be fine. We've all revised enough for this and let's just keep on going until exam season is over. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment if you want and have a nice exam week or day or whatever. Goodbye.